Welcome fellow Blender Benders. I'm developing a procedural generation add-on. I decided to make it a free add-on because you will need it to follow along with my tutorials. There's a download link in the description as well as a link to the installation guide for those who don't know how to install a Blender add-on. At the end we will make the spaceship from the thumbnail from start to finish. I will quickly show you how this add-on works. You can access the add-on panel by pressing N. Then go to the procedural generation panel. In this drop down you can select your operation. These operations can be used in creative ways to create all kinds of shapes. After choosing an operation, you simply change the parameters or hit random and execute it. Sometimes a measure is required as input, other times it's not. This operation for example will require a mesh. As you can see the operation results in a very random outcome even on the default cube. You can use the mesh scramble operation on a mesh to get a different mesh with the same characteristics. The generate spaceship base will generate a base mesh for your spaceship. This mesh can look very random at first, but after using the mesh scramble operation on it, you can end up with some very cool results. Not all of them will look great, but if you try long enough, you will end up with some cool shapes and spaceships. Then finally we have the generate sci-fi material. In order to preview the material you have to use viewport shading. This check mark is used to auto update the material. After you hit randomize a new material will be generated and applied to the mesh you have selected. You can hit the randomize button multiple times to get different results. You can also change the parameters manually. This was a short introduction to my new add-on, let's make a spaceship with it. Select the default cube and delete it by pressing delete. You can access the add-on panel by pressing N. Look for the procedural generation panel and open it. Select generate spaceship base in the drop down menu. Copy the generate spaceship base seat from the description. Paste the seat in the panel with the paste seat button. After pasting the seat you can execute the operation. Using the seat will ensure that you get the exact same result. Switch to the mesh scramble operation in the drop down menu. Copy the mesh scramble seat in the description and paste it. Scramble the mesh by hitting execute. Switch to a rendered view by selecting the shaded sphere in the top right corner. Change your operation type to generate sci-fi material. Copy and paste the generate sci-fi material seat. After you have pasted the seat, hit execute. Go to the Render Properties tab and select Cycles as your render engine. Use your GPU to render if you have one. Change the render samples to something your computer can handle. Then AD samples worked for me. Change your X and Y tile size to 512 if you're using a GPU. Add a sunlight with Shift A. Open the Object Data Properties tab. Change the strength to 5 and the color to a slight yellow color. Rotate the world view by pressing and holding middle mouse button. After you find a nice camera angle, press Ctrl, Alt and 0 to snap the camera to your world view. Select the camera and go into the object properties and change the clip end to 1000 so that the entire spaceship is rendered. Select the camera, set the transform transformation to local. Move the camera backwards by pressing G and then Z. Left click to confirm your position. Then use G to center your spaceship. And rotate your sunlight around the X axis by hitting R and then X until you get a nice look. Change your transform orientation back to global. Select the point light above the spaceship and move it in front of the spaceship with G and then Y. Open the Objects property tab, change the power to 100,000, the color to a slight blue color and the radius to 9 meters. Play around with the position of the light until you get a nice look. Duplicate the light by holding down Shift and press D. Duplicate the light again and move it to the back by pressing Y. Increase the power of the light to 500,000. Reposition the light with G until you get a nice rim light. Duplicate this rim light and repeat this process a couple of times until you get a nice rim light. You can rotate around the spaceship with metal mouse button. You can press 0 if you want to go back into camera view. Go into the shader tab. 
Change the shader type to world. Add an environment texture node with shift A. Open the space HGRI. The link to the one I used will be in the description. Open the view layer properties on the right side, indicated by a stack of images, and enable denoising data. Now go to the render menu and render the image. Open the compositing tab, enable use nodes. Add a denoising node with shift plus A. Connect the noisy image, denoising normal and denoising albedo to the image normal and albedo of the denoising node. Add a mix nodes, connect the image of the denoising node to the bottom image and the image of the render layers to the top image. Use point 0.8 for the frag and connect the image of the mix node to the image of the composite node. Add a glare node in between the mix and the composite node. Change the mode to fog low and tweak the size value until you're satisfied with the result. I started the Discord community where you can share cool seeds and other stuff Blender related. Link is in the description.